Things that we all did as kids. I don't know what it was about being a kid. I guess our one brain cell conjoined and we all collectively decided that this was the way to live life. When I was looking at the list of this stuff, I'm like, damn, I, I, I do some of these to this day. That's kind of embarrassing. Now, of course, we got to start off with the animal walk. You know what I'm talking about. I guess we all learned that cheetahs were the fastest animal and we decided to haul ass on all fours up the stairs. I guess we thought it was a more efficient method of traveling. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'd still walk around the house like that. My mom would be like, what the fuck are you doing? I'd be like, oh, that that's tough. And of course, I don't know what it was about the dark, but the dark had me hauling ass up the stairs too. The dark was op number one. Like I had to get it back in blood with the dark. So I got a nightlight. And after that, I felt safe. I'm like, all right, I I'm good. I'm safe from the monsters. Hey man, I watched Monsters Inc. And I was not lacking. But then I realized, oh shit, I'm still not safe. You know, after I was in my bed under my blanket, I still wasn't safe. Some of you might be like, wait, what? How is that possible? The monsters, man, they were everywhere, man. The closet, under my bed, they could have been on my ceiling, and hell, one of them even got in my bed. Yo, no, no, hold on, let me rephrase. I had to keep the nightlight on, and I had to keep a Nerf gun by my side, bro. I'm not lacking in the streets. If these monsters want to scrap, bro, they can get it, bro. I got the Nerf gun. When I wake up in the morning, I felt great. I felt amazing. I don't know why it was, but whenever we were kids, we just felt actually good when we woke up. I don't know why, man, but I was just ecstatic to live the day. There was so much to do, but then the dreaded words came out of my mom's mouth. You have school today. And at that point, bro, my day was ruined. I was crying. I was bawling on the floor and I was like, please, mom, don't take me to school. And we would all do the most to try to skip school. Yes, that's right. I know everybody watching this video has done some devious ass shit to try and skip school. Whether you pretend to be sick, hide the car keys, you do something, all right? You do everything in your power. School felt like hell on earth back then. But even though, looking back, elementary school was probably the best out of all three. The other two suck. Middle school and high school just couldn't compete, bro. And of course, my ass would get dragged to school. I'd get on the bus. I'd look out the window on the bus and it happened to be a rainy day and I see raindrops rolling down the bus window and of course the race was really intense this was like the race of the century in my mind bro and then you'd hear my ass in the back of the bus while everyone's looking at me I was like yes that one won it was really intense and I really had nothing better to do on the bus because no way I was allowed to bring my iPod to school that was not happening you walk into class everybody looks mopey because I had to get up for school in the morning but every single kid in that room had to find a way to entertain themselves for seven hours. So you bet we came up with some creative ways to entertain ourselves during school. You cannot tell me that you never poked holes in your erasers, sharpened your pencils until they were about like the length of my- and we took those goofy ass cubes, I'm gonna put a picture of them on the screen, and we'd like build big ass towers with them. And we would even take them and have sword fights with them. And of course they'd break on impact and we'd be really sad, but I don't know what we expected. I mean, of course they're gonna break. So we take the markers and do it with markers instead, but of course that didn't work either. And I no, it lasted about half a second. Nah, what are y'all staring at me for? After some boring ass lectures and barely paying attention and getting up to some tomfoolery, it was time for lunch. And of course, we all brought different things to lunch. Now, I'd always bring a PB&J or a PB and fluff. All right, that was the move. There was this one dude in my school that brought mac and cheese cold. I don't know why he did it, but I guess he wanted mac and cheese. But there was this methodology that we all used to eat our mac and cheese, all right? Just stuck it on the prongs of the fork, just like this. And apparently, this was the most efficient way to eat our mac and cheese. Now, I don't know what it was. I would save the best bite for last on my sandwich. Like, I'd just eat around my sandwich and I'd save the best bite for last. The last bite's gotta be perfect, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to munch, bro. I needed that fuel for recess. And after about like 20 minutes, it was time for recess. We went outside. Every single motherfucker on that playground felt like they were on top of the world. We'd all climb the monkey bar, spin on those spinny things. You know what I'm talking about. And even sometimes the gym teacher would break out that parachute thing. Yeah, and it was amazing. And of course, what we all remember is our fingers feeling like they're fucking broken after the monkey bars. Feeling like we just chugged a bottle of Captain Morgan after that goddamn spinny thing. And the slides, man, they were either really staticky or just warm as hell. There was no in-between. It was depending on which ones you had, of course. And after a few more hours, you were like, let's go, school's over. And you walk outside, you were smoking that pack in the air. 
You were pretending to at least. You were breathing it in and just blowing out air because school's over, we're smoking that pack. And we head back home and we were hoping that there were some pizza rolls in that goddamn toaster. And if it was, it was a good day. I will say that for sure. Like, I always had a snack waiting for me when I got home, bro. My mom took good care of me. I had either Oreos, pizza rolls, and I wondered why I was fat. And you know it was a good day if your mom was like, all right, we gotta go clothes shopping. And then I'd start complaining like, ah, oh, no, I don't wanna go clothes shopping. And then the words left her mouth. If you're good, I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese. What? what? Is it possible? Charles Entertainment Cheese? And I'd start freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, I get to meet him in the flesh? Are you serious? The skater rat with W drip? No way, bro. This is this is an honor. I don't know what they did to my boy now, but shit, that's just some disrespect. And of course, we went clothes shopping, and my dumb ass wasn't really behaving. Of course not. And I was just running around the clothes store, then like I was on some kind of adventure. And I would hide in the clothes racks. Maybe that was just me. I don't know. But I'd hide in the clothes racks until my mom would come find me. Like, I'd act like it's a game of hide and seek. She's like, all right, come out or we're not going to Chuck E. Cheese. And of course, I'd break. I'd be like, no, I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. And I'd sprint out of the goddamn clothing rack. And of course, after I got my clothes, we went to Chuck E. Cheese. You know, best place uh, on the globe in my eight-year-old and seven-year-old mind. There was no better. So I'd play my games, I'd get my prizes, and then I would go home. And of course, I had to do my homework before unfortunately but hey i still went and i was playing ski ball and i was cooking up there was no stopping me i was in my element i would spin that ticket wheel thing all the time i was trying to get the the big prize hey man i've always been a bag chaser i'm my eyes set in the right direction and of course i would play basketball too i was always hooping up then when i get home from charles entertainment cheese i get a call on the phone and it's from my neighbor and he's like yo do you want to have a sleepover and i'm like yes bro of course i want to have a sleepover so i went there and of course we had to bring our ds's that's just how it was. It was a staple. And we'd build like some kind of fort, whether it was with the couch or a pillow fort. We would just chill in the fort and play our Mario Kart DS. Like, tell me not every kid did this. Like, there's no way you did it if you grew up in the 2000s or 2010. You get your little pillow fort going. Now, I remember that sometimes we would prank the person that fell asleep first at sleepovers. So my ass was up pretty late and I was parched. All right. I'm like, I got to go downstairs and I got to drink some water and tell me not 3 a.m. water just hits different. And then I just saw my friend's magnets on the fridge and I was just fucking playing with them like an idiot. I was trying to get them to stick together. At this point, it was pretty late at night. We did our thing. And of course, the kid, he was really upset that he got pranked. Obviously, no one's going to be happy that they pissed themselves. I either have sleepovers at my friend's house that I met at school or my neighbor's house. All right. That those were the two spots for me now I remember bro I'd crash at like 2 a.m. and my ass didn't fall asleep first so luckily I was not the one being pranked that very night and when I woke up in the morning I still felt pretty good even though I didn't get much sleep that night like we got to do what we got to do I'm not trying to pee myself over here now I just remember smelling those pancakes in the morning and oh my god I just remember having chocolate chip pancakes in the morning at my friend's sleepovers that just hit different if you did not have that experience man you missed out chocolate chip pancakes in the morning was a special occasion not ego ones not ego pancakes homemade that shit was crazy and of course we'd log on to the good old Wii in the morning after breakfast and it was fun of course we played Wii sports as always and if you were a 90s kid you probably played the nintendo 64 or something like that but anyways comment down below what you did as a kid want another video to watch watch this video on screen anyways i'm out bye